Shooter ready? No, but let's do it anyways. Stand by. Big coming right there. All right, hey guys, we're out here on this blustery day and uh, I got a question from one of our patrons on Patreon, uh, Susan Britcher, we, you guys know her as Mama Bear, on the live streams. She reached out and she said, Carl, can you tell me how to shoot a Texas star? She's from Australia. They've got that weird accent down there. Uh, and it dawned on me, because I like a Texas star, that's a... This is a carnival ride at like shooting competitions, but she actually shoots competitively in Australia. All right, so ask, you sell, receive. I reached out to Shooting Targets USA and said, hey guys, I've got a request for a Texas Star. And they're like, hey Carl, we'll hook you up. We'll get you out with one. So anyways, thanks to them for hooking us up. All right, I, you don't normally see us shooting Texas Stars because as we focus primarily on combat shooting. All right, but to understand anytime you're manipulating your firearm under stress, like in a shooting competition, this can help you with combat shooting. All right, so we're shooting steel, so um, you know, never shoot steel closer than seven meters without friends. We're gonna shoot it from 10 meters. Texas Star, it's got five plates that's basically hinged in the middle uh, on a spindle that's well greased. Uh, there's a couple different techniques for shooting it. So specifically to help out Susan, a novice shooter, uh, I'm gonna talk about two basic techniques for doing it. The first is, because remember, you want to take the top ones high and work your way down, because if it gets uneven on one side, it's gonna get out of uh, camber, it's gonna start spinning on you, makes it harder for you to shoot it. So the first technique we're gonna talk about is going left, right, left, right, bottom. Right, literally, because you're taking those two plates quickly and let the other three remain at the bottom, it doesn't spin quite so much, all right? Uh, and then you take the next two and that leaves you one at the bottom, nice and easy. So this is how we recommend a, uh, a new shooter takes this Texas Star. I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna start top, uh, the way it's sitting right now, I'm gonna start top, uh, top right, I mean top left, uh, top right, and then I'll go the other two, come back down with it. All right, real quick, I'm gonna shoot. You see, it didn't have time to really spin it. It just didn't, all right? So that's, uh, that's one technique for shooting it. Left, right, left, right, bottom, all right? Nice and easy. I'm gonna go reset it real quick. I'll be right back. Second technique is just either go completely clockwise or completely counterclockwise. A lot of newer shooters may find that this is easier to just stay on one side and just keep working it around. All right, so again, uh, the way it's sitting right now, I'm gonna start uh, the top one and I'm gonna just go clockwise around. It really doesn't matter. You go clockwise, counterclockwise. Now, the goal is that once you start shooting it, it's heavy on that one side, it will actually come around to you, all right? Um, okay, uh, that makes sense? Does that not make sense? Now, the one thing though is you'll find uh, your pro shooters, once they get really, really good at it, a lot of them will go left, right, left, right, bottom, but when they get really good at it, that's what they'll do, they will literally just start and just slowly move their gun around it real quick. And you'll see that it does not even have time to move very, very much when you get good at it, right? But for me, what I would recommend, start high, go left, right, left, right, bottom. Uh, but again, you see, this is a carnival ride that you're gonna have at a, a, at a shooting competition. You're learning a strategy for uh, engaging the steel target before you can move on to something else. Really doesn't apply to combat shooting but it's now a decent piece of rain, uh, steel that I have out of my range. What shooting drills can we do with this piece of steel to help us improve our combat shooting? Well, what, what is my end goal? What am I looking for? What I'm looking for is transitioning and tracking moving targets and moving from, uh, from target to target, plate to plate, but 
I want to work on it being moving. So you've got a couple different ways to do that. One, you can have your buddy, uh, which buddy's only half the word in this case, you can have him spin that thing, or the other thing you can do is you can number it. Same plates, but all we've done is we've numbered them. So, uh, but notice they're not in a correct order clockwise or counterclockwise. So. Uh, the goal here is I have to shoot them in order. Now you can play with this if you've got your buddies out here Sunday afternoon after church and you want to do a uh, critical thinking drill, you can go uh, shoot evens and odds or you can have your buddy call the numbers out in order. I'm out here with basically all my friends, so I'm going to just shoot the plates in order. Now, when I do that, it'll be, uh, it's going to spin left, right. You just follow that front sight and uh, get your hits. All right, plate. Not hard, I missed. I'm not afraid to show misses on the internet. I suck, I'm a human being. Anyways, uh, for Susan and everybody else that's interested in it, my first time shooting a Texas star, I just, I'll pick any of them. And uh, yeah, it ain't my lunch, but uh, you quickly learn from all the pros chuckling and laughing at you that you'll see there are techniques for shooting this. I personally, left, right, left, right, bottom, uh, but when you get really, really good, just start one side, work your way around. It's actually faster to do that. Oh, and I do want to give a big shout out to Shooting Targets USA for hooking us up with this uh, Texas star here. Uh, you hit them up. We got a promo code for you, shootingtargetsusa.com. Go check them out. Hope you guys got something out of today's video. Leave the comments below. We thought it'd be a little fun to, what do you say we do this? 100 meters, Texas star, uh, but with ARs. I like it. You got that? I like it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, uh, ladies go before first. gentlemen, go, go ahead. On. All right. All right. You tell me when you're ready. Damn, you're getting stable, stable. Okay. I'm ready. You good? Shoot it ready. Stand by. Nice. This is the part where I laugh at you. Ah. <laughs> I didn't bring that much ammo. There we go. Oh, the last round. <laughs> 31.53 seconds. I'm going to need that 0.53. All right. Um, now, you, my channel, right? You get to go reset that shit. <laughs> I, I hate you. Crying. All right. I'm going with you. I'll be right back. Shoot already. No, but let's do it anyways. Stand by. There yeah, I is. guess if I had actually aimed, I probably would have done better instead of just praying and spraying. Look at that. Well, either way. <laughs> Last bullet. That's I hate pretty. to say this, Carl. Cause you I don't really like you, but but you you beat me a little bit. Did I really? I yeah, don't know how, dude. 75. I used I, I used 500 rounds of ammo. <laughs> Practical, maybe not, but uh, Texas stars are fun. Texas stars are fun. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.